Hi family and welcome to another of my videos. Today I do look tired, I do have my breakout. This one I've been messing with. I know I'm not supposed to but I can't leave it like that. Today I want to try the new Isadora Velvet Touch Ultra Cover, Cover Compact Powder Foundation. And I'm kind of excited. Yesterday I did try the new Isadora Skin Beauty Perfecting a, Perfecting a Protecting Foundation which I really liked and it worked wonderful for me. But today I want to try the powder one. Two of my favorite powder foundations that I really love and use is the Aqua, Aqua sorry, Assurance from JCAT. I have three shades, this is the Ivory. I really like this powder foundation, but one of my favorite foundation uh, is actually Revolution Pro powder foundation. And this I've been using a lot, as you can see, it's one of my favorite. Uh, it's a little bit wrong shade for me right now, but I make it work. I really, really like this foundation, especially when I want, want to go out fast on that coverage. This gives me medium to full coverage. I like that. Now, Isadora did release a sheer coverage version 2. I'm not into sheer coverage. I never use sheer, co sheer coverage. I want full or medium. And the days when I don't want to wear a lot of makeup or just look natural, I do use me medium coverage. I don't like sheer, but sheer. But if you're interested to find, know how that works so on a combo, combination skin, that sheer foundation, let me know down below. If I get maybe 20 comments that really want to see that foundation, I will buy it and test it. Otherwise, I won't even go near, near it. But if you're interested to see what, how this one is going to work for me, what I think about it, then please keep on watching. I think the, the difficult thing when you buy online is to find a share match, especially if the shades doesn't are not similar to the other Isadora's foundation or other foundations from that line or brand. Not line, but brand. I just picked one. I don't know, just pick one. This is 61 Neutral Ivory. I don't know why I go for Ivory right now, maybe because I feel like I'm clo most cl closest to that shade. But this is how it's going to, this is how it looks. It does have this plastic cover over. It has kind of a weird sponge. I'm going to use it because I do like using these sponges for applying the foundation. I do also use this one to apply powder foundation. I'm not going to use it today. I'm going to use it for concealer. I do need to wash it though. Uh, but we are going to try this. So let's go in and prime. I use the Mil uh, Milk Makeup Hydro Primer yesterday, which kind of didn't go really well with the other Isadora foundation. But today I want to use this one, Hourglass. I do like to use this one uh, under my powder foundation. It's because it doesn't gather. Oh, this is very liquidy. I didn't blend it, shake it enough. Um, I feel like it's the one that is going to work best. So I prime my skin and let's go in with this foundation. Um, feels though pow powdery, has nice texture. This is supposed to be, let's search what it says on the website, what it says about this foundation. It has SPF 20 and it's going to give you matte, silk, make a silk look to your skin. It's going to protect your skin against against the sun and it's buildable coverage and it goes into the skin and makes everything even and uh, nice, uh, even and beautiful. It fix your makeup. It's going to keep your oils in control if you have oily or combo skin. Um, and it's not going to give you that dry and cakey results. It's water resistant, cruelty free, and it's full with pigment, mineral pigment. So I know, sounds like a very good foundation, very good foundation. So let's see. I, I, it's kind of hard to open with my nails. The pack, the packaging is very slim. I like that. But nice travel friendly packaging. I do want to have a bigger mirror because this one is a little bit too small. And I'm going to use this. So let's see. Oh, I forgot to apply the concealer. Okay. 
This looks nice. It's not full coverage, but I forgot to apply concealer. So I am going to go in a little bit with the new concealer that I reviewed yesterday. Or, or not really yesterday. I did try it yesterday, but it's not going to be yesterday when you see that video, this video. Um, I tried the new camouflage concealer from Isadora and it's a beautiful concealer. So I've got, but because I do like to apply my concealers under my powder foundations. Just a little bit of the concealer. I'm not going to go in crazy. So let's go back to the foundation. Try to apply. Bit maybe light color for me, but I can make it work. I am going to go uh, to the store and buy some groceries so we're going to test this foundation it's very windy and cold outside this part is building out the coverage nice i mean it's not as you can see full full coverage though but and i like sometimes if i want full coverage i can i use these foundations on top of the liquid foundation just to make it more even so my skin looks even, uh, it's not full coverage, it's more medium and I feel like I'm not going to get the full full coverage, coverage with this foundation but that's okay, that's okay, that I don't mind and during the summer I don't usually go for full coverage. So I do like how it looks, it's a little bit light but we are going to bronze and uh, apply other products. So Right now it's 10.13 a.m. and I'm going to finish my makeup look and I'll be back to show you how it looks after it had some time to sink into my skin, go with, together and sink in with other products and uh, let's continue. Okay guys, so now it's 10.26 and I just did my makeup very fast. I have the Urban Decay Honey Palette on my eyes. Uh, this looks like my skin. I, uh, some of the uh, mascara. I feel like this Isadora is even better than this one. I have to say, it looks stunning on my face. It looks stunning on my skin. It's not full, full coverage. Maybe the shades are a little bit off, maybe a little bit lighter than I would like it to but it really gives me nice medium coverage it evened everything my pores are less visible it didn't sit, settle into my fine lines it became one with my face and I really like it also worked very nice with other products that I've used and so far I'm really liking it I'm going to wear it the whole day at least for eight hours and I'll do a check-in oh I forgot the lip product on my lips sorry guys I had some naked lips, that's not good. Okay, that's better. I'm going to wear it the whole day and I'm going to tell you how it worked on my combination skin. I'll check in and just tell you that. So far, I'm really lacking it. It feels light, it looks nice, it looks even, doesn't look cakey, doesn't look heavy, doesn't look like I have foundation on when I look very close to uh, closing the mirror. So, so far, I'm really liking it. There is a breakout that's itching here. A lot. I'll do a check-in and I see you in a couple of hours. Hi family and welcome back. It's now, let's see, 6 p.m. and I've been having this foundation on for around eight hours. So uh, let's see, I didn't touch, I tried not to touch my face today and I didn't retouch, I didn't do anything. And I've been just doing a lot of stuff in the town and also at home. So this is how my face looks after eight hours. Uh, it, it, it is a little bit, just a little bit shiny, but it doesn't feel oily, it doesn't look greasy, it looks like my skin. Uh, it does look a little bit, I don't know, it went off here or um, on this side of the nose, not on this side. Uh, but everything else looks good, it didn't settle into my fine lines. 
uh, not into my smile lines either. Uh, it still still covers the same. I do like this foundation. Um, it feels like it just became one with my uh, with my skin and with my oils. And just it doesn't look heavy. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel like I or doesn't look like I have powder foundations. I really really like this foundation. Um, I think also. I feel like it's just a little bit better than this one. I do do love this foundation too, but I have to say that I'm really surprised how everything went, worked and I really like this foundation. I really like this Adora's foundation. I mean, eight hours and it looks this good. It's not bad. It's not bad. Of course, I would maybe prefer to it having more, more coverage, but for everyday foundation, I don't mind. So this is really, really good foundation. I do like it. I like the packaging. I think it's sleek. It's nice. It's uh, travel friendly. It's more flat than this one. I know if you can see the difference. And if you want me to compare with Makeup Revolution one, it's also flatter. So I kind of prefer this kind of packaging. It feels nice in the hand and I do like it. I really, really like it. So Isadora really makes wonderful foundations. I've been loving a lot of them. I also, if you haven't seen this, like this foundation too, I will leave, I think I have a card up here somewhere in the beginning of this video where you can watch this review of this foundation. I do like it. Like I said, I also reviewed the concealer last in my last video and I do really enjoy the concealer too. So I like it. I like, I like, <laughs> here it is. I really like this foundation. I'll definitely continue using it and playing with it. But yeah, it was a good day. I hope, please let me know down below if you tried any foundations from Isadora and uh, what do you think, how it looks on my skin. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the not notification bell and i see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.